What is the single most important thing that you can do to improve your school study? Answer, just turn up. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. G'day and welcome to Crystal Clear Mathematics where it is easier than you think. I'm your host Graeme Henderson. In the first episode I explained how we were going to build our study system just like a car before we turned it on. Our car, or our study system, has four parts and the first part is time. You cannot learn something well without spending time rehearsing and practicing it and deep down you know this. So no matter what you want to learn, whether it's a language, a musical instrument, uh, gymnastics, mathematics, the first thing you've got to do is invest time in learning it. You have to turn up, to turn up to training, to turn up to lessons, to turn up to coaching or tutoring sessions. This is how you learned all those things that you are already good at. This is not a secret. Our first aim, therefore, is to give you some control over the time that you spend studying. And this is how. First, record all the time that you actually spend studying outside of school hours. And by study, I mean absolutely everything that you do that is school related. That's homework, assignments, projects, compulsory reading, your personal study, everything. Keep a piece of scrap paper near you when you work and record the times when you sit down and the times when you get up from your study. If you prefer to use a computer, find software such as Tracks Time that will allow you to clock on and off and will add up your time for you. These programs would make it quite easy to keep track of how much time you spend on each subject if you wish. So this first step does not take a great deal of time and is actually quite easy to do. Now, if this is all that you did, you would just end up with a great pile of bits of paper. But fortunately, there's a second step. This second step makes sense of all those bits of scrap paper. Once per week, add up all the time you've spent studying and record the result as a column on a study graph, not unlike this one. If you'd like a copy of it, click on the link in the description below this video or click on the appropriately for time an hourglass. A graph like this can actually help you in three ways. First of all, it shows you how much time you've actually spent studying. And that can be good information for you. It can also help if you need to show this to a parent or teacher. Secondly, you can actually see your progress and this can be very encouraging. And thirdly, having this kind of information can help you make good decisions about planning your study time in future. Believe it or not, this simple idea is vastly more important than setting up a study timetable because study timetables always fail. Recording your study time like this will only take about 5 or 10 minutes per week. I hope that you agree this is not a painful start to setting up a good study system and keeping your study on track. You will learn later about how to use your time effectively, but for the moment, just be satisfied with recording your time and start to reap the rewards. You can set the other three parts of your study system up whenever you wish, but make sure you get this one done first. If you are curious and want to take the next step, see our next video and learn how to set up your study timetable and how to make the very best use of your study graph and make it work for you. This is Graham Henderson wishing you all the best for your study and looking forward to helping you become a good mathematician as well. Please subscribe, like or comment on this video. Thank you.